Hello students, let's do mean and median exercise 27a. It's on page number 282 and we are with question 3. The heights in centimeters of 7 boys, heights of 7 boys of a locality are given to us. So we have 144 centimeters, 155 centimeters, 168 centimeters, 163 centimeters, 167 centimeters, 157, 51 centimeters, and 158 centimeters. So these are the heights of seven boys of a locality. Now we have to find their mean height. So the heights of the seven boys, we need to write it down. The heights given to us is 144 centimeters, 155 centimeters. So what's given to us, we are writing it down. 163 centimeters, 167 centimeters, 151 centimeters, and we have 158 centimeters. So these are the heights given to us already. Now required mean is sum of all these values divided by the number of values. So we have to add up all these now. So let's add up 144. So I'm taking only the numbers plus 155 plus 168 then we have 163 167 151 and 158 so let's add up all these numbers and now we have to find the number of values also because we have to divide it with them so let's count the number of values 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven. So we have seven values, so we need to divide the sum of all these values by seven. So let's begin to add. So 144, 155, 168, 163, 167, 151, and 158. So let's carefully add up these. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20, 20 plus 7 is 27, 27 plus 1 is 28, 28 plus 8 is 36. So we carry 3. Now here let's count 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, 18 plus 6 is 24, 24 plus 6 is 30. Then we have 5 plus 5, 10, 30 plus 10, 40. So 0 and carry 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've got 1106 when we added up all these. So this is 1106 divided by 7. So now we have to divide 1106 by 7. So let's do that division. Let's take 11, 7 ones are 7 minus 11 minus 7. So we have to borrow here, 11 minus 7 is 4, then we bring down 0. Now 7 fives are 35 minus, borrow again, 10 minus 5 is 5, this is 3, so it's 0. I bring down 6, so the number is 56. 7 eights are, 7 eights are 56. So I finished my division and I've got 158. So the mean is 158 and we have to write the unit here and the unit is centimeters. So we've got our answer. The mean height of the boys is 158 centimeters. Question 4. Find the mean of all these numbers given. So we start by saying required mean is the sum of all the values by the number of values. So now here we need to add up all these numbers to find the sum. So 35 plus 44 plus 31, then we have 57, 38, 29, 26, 36, 41, and we have 43. We need to add up all these. Now let's see how many numbers are there. So 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 numbers. So we have to first find the sum of all these values then divide it by 10. So let's begin to add. So let's add it here. 35 plus 44. So we should not miss out anything, isn't it? 35 plus 44 plus 31 plus 57 plus 38. Okay, let's add up these first. Okay, so 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. 17 plus 8 is 25. Carry 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 3, 12. 12 plus 7, 12 plus 5, 17. 17 plus 3, 20. So here we have 205. Now let's continue adding. So 205. Now let's take 29, 26, 36, 41, and 43. So now we have to add up all these numbers. 5 plus 9 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. 26, 27, plus 3, 30. Carry 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. Carry 1. 380. So the sum of all those values is 380 and now we divide this by 10. So when you divide you can cancel. So I can cancel this. So this is 38 by 1 or it's simply 38. So what is the mean? The answer here is 38. The mean of all these values is simply 38. Question 5. Now this is a slightly different question. The mean of all these numbers 18, 28, x is an unknown quantity here. 32, 14 and 36 is 23. So they are already telling us what the mean is. Now we have to find the value of x. So let's do it the normal way. Mean is sum of all the values divided by the number of values and the mean will be now let's write down all these numbers 18 plus 28 plus x plus 32 plus 14 plus 36. So these are all the values and how many values do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we're going to divide this by 6. So First here, what is the mean? Mean is already given to us in the question as 23. Now here we have all the other values we are going to add up. We can add up 18, 28, 32, 14 and 36. Now x is what we are going to find out. So first let's add up all the other numbers. 18, 28, 32, 14 and 36. So let's add this up. 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 2. 16 plus 2 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. 22 plus 6 is 28. Carry 2. 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 128. So this is 128 plus x divided by 6. So we're going to work this out. We're going to solve this here. We're going to solve for x. So I'm going to write 128 plus x will be 23. I have 23, isn't it? Now I'm going to transpose 6. 6 is division. I'm going to transpose it along with 23 to the other side. So since it is division here, when it goes to the other side, it becomes multiplication. So here now I have 128 plus x is equal to, let's multiply this and see what we get, 23 into 6. 6 3s are 18 carry 1, 6 2s are 12 plus 1 13. So here we get 138. Now to find the value of x, I say 138 minus 128. How did it become minus? 
on the left hand side 128 is plus when i transpose it to the right hand side it becomes minus now 138 minus 128 is 10 so we have found the value of x to be 10 so this is our answer we were asked to find the value of x and we have found it to be 10 question 6 if the mean of now look at the different kinds of numbers x then we have x plus 2 x plus 4 x plus 6 and x plus 8 they're saying if the mean is 13 so here they've already given us the mean they're asking us to find the value of x so let's begin the mean of x and all these terms that are given here and x plus 8 is 13 this is what is given to us already then to find the mean we say sum of all the values divided by the number of values so sum of all the values will be we're going to add up these x plus so we finish with this now we have to write this x plus 2 plus this one x plus 4 plus this one x plus 6 plus the last one x plus 8 so these are all the terms that are given to us now we have to find how many terms there are how many values there are so let's count the number of values 1 2 3 4 and 5 there are five values okay so this is how it is now we know the value of the mean mean is given to us as 13 now we have to add up all these terms that we have here first let's pick all the x so we have one x another x here one more x one more x and one so let's add up these one plus one is two two plus one is three three plus one four four plus one five so we have five x plus now let's add up all the whole numbers so here we have two plus four is six six plus six is twelve twelve plus eight is twenty so we have 5x plus 20 divided by 5. Now we're going to find the value of 5x first. So 5x plus 20 is equal to, now I'm going to transpose 5 to the other side. Here it is division, it will become multiplication. So that will be 13 into 5. So 5x plus 20 equals 13 fives are 65. So to find the value of 5x, we say 65 minus 20. Now how did that happen? Plus 20, when we transpose it to the other side, it becomes minus 20. So 5x is equal to, how much is 65 minus 20? Let's do that. 65 minus 20, 5 zeros 5 minus 0 is 5, 6 minus 2 is 4, we've got 45. So 5x is equal to 45. So to find the value of x, we say 45 divided by 5. Why division? Because here 5 is multiplication. 5x means 5 into x. So here when we divide 45 by 5, we get 5 nines are 45. So we have found the value of x x is equal to 9. So this is our final answer. So we were asked to find the value of x and we have found the value of x to be 9. So with this children we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.